Hi, my name is Sharon. I'd like to take you into the insight of my thoughts around grooming the executive and why this initiative came to me. You see, in South Africa, we are faced with a number of challenges. Challenges that cannot be bestowed to one person, nor just be left to government to resolve. One such is the high unemployment rate that we have, the poverty that comes as a result, and the crime we experience on a day-to-day -day basis. Once more, as a result of the high levels of unemployment. We've taken a position to add our two cents worth towards contributing, no matter how insignificant it could be, towards solving the scourge and not just be a bystander. Grooming Executive aims at involving all South Africans towards solving this by bringing our creative thoughts and measuring towards what it is it can translate into. It is for that reason that we engage different partners. Strategic alliances are put in place with ordinary people, with corporates in Africa, and hopefully one day with government to get to the point where this problem that the country and the continent face becomes what we all join hands and solve. We've got a number of offerings in this structure, all of which are focusing on how we make our people better and improve their lives. Just to list a few, the first one that we have is grooming the executive perfecting educational output. The program looks at all the activities that need to be done to get most of our unemployed yet qualified young individuals who are carrying qualifications that they do not know what to do with given the fact that they are not job creating for them. We look deeper into the individual, what we call God-given and natural talent, to harness that and help them find something that is resonating with who they are and making, literally trying to make the future out of what they've already earned as an education. We are appealing to young people who have got entrepreneurial drive in them, even if it's just a drive, without knowing exactly what it is they want to do, to join hands with us so that we can harness them through, with, through those activities that we'll be bringing to the table. We are certain that we will be able to solve this high unemployment that we face. Program number two that we have is GTE Gap Year Booster. You see, this is the reality we need to face. Today we've got 6.7 million unemployed people. At the end of the year, we'll be releasing to the system more than half a million young people who are completing metric. The very same number will also be experienced by young individuals who are completing their tertiary level education. The sad reality is that they are going to add to that long queue of unemployed people. I am not putting down the ideology of educating our children, rather I'm encouraging our children to get as much education as possible. But I want to dig deeper into the psychology of what is expected out of the outcome of education, which for me is the biggest problem, which is what we need to go into and address the challenges that we have. We want to encourage our children to make wise decisions before they commit to any further qualification which might not resonate with who they are and what they see themselves being into the future. Make wiser decisions, get qualifications and professions that they can use independent of availability of employment or not. Our third product is called GTE Junior Giant. Now that gets me very excited. It is the hope, it is the correction of the wrong that we have done, but done at the right time. Our focus here is on young children between the ages of 10 and 18. These are still basic education undergoing children. Now we work on their psyche, we work on their natural talents, we work on their God-given strength to help them make wiser decisions so that when they exit basic education, 
they do not fall into the trap that we have fallen into, that their older siblings have fallen into, but make wiser and informed decisions without wasting any time and going through unnecessary detours. That's our, that's our ambition. That's who grooming the executive is. No matter how insignificant, bringing forth our ability to create solutions for the problems that seem to be mounting one day after the other. Thank you so much.